there are two big problems with the tax advice given on TikTok. Hi, I'm financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So, all right, what's going on? TikTok tax advice. All right, here's what's going on. There are folks on TikTok, a popular social media platform, that give sort of this tax advice that says, you know what? You're a sitting duck in retirement. Those 401ks, that's going to become a big problem in retirement. So here's what you ought to do. You ought to invest through something like an index universal life insurance policy, a cash surrender value, whole life insurance policy, some sort of permanent life insurance where you're building up wealth through a life insurance policy. And then at the end of the day, when you get retired, guess what? You take tax-free distributions from that permanent life insurance policy in retirement. And you win, right? Because it's tax-free income in retirement. Well, let's step back for a second. I think this tax advice is missing two big things. The first thing that that TikTok tax advice misses is the benefit you get during your working years of contributing to that 401k. Now, this by itself doesn't mean you should never use permanent life insurance. But if we're thinking about how great permanent life insurance might be in the future because it'll be tax-free income, well, okay, that's fine, but you are foregoing that tax deduction during your working years. And here's the thing. I think for most Americans, their working years are probably going to be their highest tax years just because that's the years you know, that they're making a lot of money. And so by foregoing that tax deduction, you know, when you don't contribute to your 401k and instead you use something like a permanent life insurance vehicle to save for retirement, that's a real drawback of permanent life insurance. You don't get that 401k tax deduction. So I think that's something that's missed in this TikTok tax advice where, all right, permanent life insurance, yeah, it has all these benefits on the out end. But you are really, you're paying a price when you divert a dollar from your 401k to a permanent life insurance policy because you're losing that upfront tax deduction and that upfront tax savings. The second problem with TikTok tax advice is it overstates the problem of taxation in retirement. Look, no one wants to pay tax, right? But, you know, there are worse problems in this world. And what I've done is I've put a blog post in the, in the description below that sort of goes through a successful retired couple, a retired couple with $200,000 of income between Social Security and required minimum distributions from 401ks, traditional IRAs, those sorts of things. Just how bad is the retirement tax hit? Well, it turns out it's actually not that bad. Their effective tax rate, even if they live in the great state of California, which is a high tax state as we know, is a little over 18%. Now, no one wants to pay 18% in income tax, but compared to most of American history and compared to people's high earning years, an 18% effective tax rate is a great deal. And so what I think is going on here is some of this TikTok tax advice overstates the tax problem in retirement. Are there concerns about, hey, I don't want to pay tax in retirement and these rates could go up? Absolutely. But I also think we have to look at some recent political history, right? If we look at the last 29 years, 28 years of tax policy, it's all been to the benefit, generally speaking, of retirees. In 1993, they increased for a second time the taxation on Social Security. And guess what happened in 1994? A lot of those congressmen and senators got sent packing. And since then, what's happened in terms of taxing retirees? Well, they increased the standard deduction. They have not touched Social Security in 30 years. And they added things like QCDs. They made the tax rates even more progressive. And it turns out these days, retirees tend to do well even when they change the tax laws. So look, there's no guarantee, but I do think a lot of this advice on, on TikTok is overstating the problem, right? Yeah, are there concerns around future taxation and retirement? Sure. But to my mind, those concerns, generally speaking, are not enough to support using something like a permanent, ta uh, permanent life insurance, an IUL, or these sorts of things from a tax perspective. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.